Hi guys. Okay, um, I told a couple of you I'd make a video. I've actually had a few people stop me and ask me how I French braided my hair by myself. I found a video on YouTube and for some reason I couldn't share it. So I'm just gonna make a video, show you really quick. It's about five minutes and you can French braid your hair. So what I did was I washed my hair and it's a little damp right in the middle, right by my scalp. Probably what you want. If you have curly hair and you need to straighten it, then just get some water on your hands. Run your fingers through your hair. Just get it a little bit of damp so you have some kind of control. Okay. So just get a small brush. You don't need a big one. And pretend like you are making a little ponytail on the top of your head. Depending on how tight you want the braid, you want to actually use the brush. If you really want like a those loose kind of like I fell asleep in it sort of looking braids, and you can just do this by yourself with your hands. So just take a little section of your hair, and you're going to separate it into three pieces, hopefully. That doesn't feel even at all. One, two, three. There. Okay, so take your three pieces and just make your first braid like that and like that. And then you're going to take some of the hair. It's easier if I look in the mirror to do this. Take some of the hair from the front, pull it into the braid, and cross it over the middle. And then when you go to this side, you're going to again. Take some hair from the front. You can just use your thumb or your pinky, whichever is easier for you. Pull it into there. And then make a knot in your head. No, cross it over the middle. And you're just going to repeat this. It's actually easier if I don't look in the mirror. You're going to repeat this a little bit at a time, taking little pieces of hair. You don't have to take much at a time. Just pull a little bit back. And again, it doesn't really have to be perfect because the whole thing about braids now is like the messy braid look. And I know some of you are like, I don't want my braid looking messy. And that's cool. Sorry, I'm just tangled in my hair now. Um, then just do it dry. I mean, just do it wet and you can get a tighter braid. And it was a crap lot easier. And once you get a rhythm going, it starts going a little faster. Or if you're like me, you derp it and Say something like that, and then you end up going a little slower. But come on here, you stupid. And you can see we're getting down to the bottom. Sorry, I'm not talking too much through this. When you start getting down to where it's close to the bottom, just start working the hair in. And you can see I've gathered it all up.
Then take a small elastic and you're just going to put that around the base as far up or far down as you want. Some people like a long braid in the back. Um, some people don't like a braid at all in the back. And what you want to do with that, if you don't like a braid at all in the back, still go ahead and braid it all the way down and you can fold it up into the hairstyle. You can see the front sort of looks like this. It's a little messy. Um, if that's a little too much for you, a little bit of water, just kind of dab it on, tuck any ends behind your ears, and just hairspray it. Hairspray the whole thing if you want a little bit of hold or leave it out and kind of leave that loose look. French braid just supposed to be a little tousled, a little bit of, of loose to the braid. And you can see it's just the French braid. It's not hard. It looks a little messy. Um, if you want it to be tight, you have your hair wetter. The only bad thing about having really wet hair when you're doing this style is that sometimes you can leave gaps in your head. So you're going to be braiding it, pulling it back, and you'll have gaps. If that's okay with you, then go ahead and use wetter hair. Um, you can also use mousse, hairspray, whatever you need. I probably won't even put anything else in this and just leave it like this because then it kind of goes in that little wavy, sort of messy look. And that's it. Less than five minutes, you have French braided hair. It takes a little bit of practice. You can go slower or faster depending, again, how precise you want the braid. And that's all. Okay. Thanks.